Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so you guys are probably why did I just post right after I posted a video? It's because a girl, um, my cousin is at my house over right now. We we're having a party early in the morning. So, so like they come over to like help us clean our and every Thanksgiving. So um, she came over and she was like, "Hey, did you just finish posting that video?" And I was just like, "Yeah." And she was like, oh, I got a perfect idea. And I'm just like, okay. And then she was like, you should write about urban legends. Like scary things. And I was just like, I don't know any scary things. So she listed some in front of me on a piece of paper right here. Where's that piece of paper? I just searched up on Google. I opened a lot of tabs on my phone, searching up on the Google of the people of the scary things that she posted that she gave me on the piece of paper and now um we're gonna be talking about those like facts and all of that so the first person that she told me about was in a video a a person well eh, kind of a person he's an it's an urban legend it's called Krampus. Well, Krampus is like um. Let me read it. He is a very popular legend in Central Europe. I I don't care if I'm saying it wrong or not. He's half goat and half demon that punishes kids. That misbehave, mis that punches misbehaving children at Christmas time. He's the he's the devilish version of Saint Nicholas. Krampus is believed to have organted organted in Germany and his derives from German word campus, which means claws and that's the first one that we were talking about. Um, honestly, there was barely facts that one. It's just what it is. Um, so it was only a couple of facts. You know, only one fact, which is he punishes kids that misbehave on Christmas time. Um, there's another one whose name Garla Jola. Apparently, um. Gala is a giant woman who lives in the mountains of Iceland. She has the ability to sense when and where the children are misbehaving or behaving a badly year round. Year round. She loves her cat, Jola Cochran. Her cat stalks misbehaving children while Gala looks around by christmas eve what makes garland worse is she has 13 children who leave nice goodies for kids who behaved well and those who do not behave get pranked i think we all agree on avoiding on avoiding the atlantic area during holiday season which brings me to her cat chulkatrin chulkatrin is a cat who teams with garla aka the giant woman he stalks the children while tricking them, leaving them thinking he's a normal cat. Joker Chin is also also can lead children to their homes. After he stalks, he goes back and apparently he tells he tells Garla about the misbehaving children. While Garla pranks the kids, Joker Chin is looking at Garla with a big smile on his face. That's creepy. Yo, I'm getting the chills already. There's another one that's called this urban legend that's very popular around here. Well, it kinda. His name is Cartoon Cat. He's very much like another urban legend called Mr. Widemouth. I think a girl named, I think Jessie B is it. She posted a video like two or three days ago. 
saying about a story about Mr. Widemouth. Anyways, um, it's just that he's a cat, a, a really, 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 really tall cat with a huge smile on his face. That gives me the chills. Anyway, so now the facts. Cartoon Cat is a is a hostile cryptid urban legend created by a Canadian horror artist, Trevor Henderson. He is a giant feline creature who resembles a 1930s era cartoon cat, hence his name. The, he sings this song, and the lyrics is right here. I'm not going to sing the whole song because this song gives me the fucking chills. Anyways, it says, well, the sun goes down and the evening comes and you're all in all in the darkness. Run, run away. Well, do you scream so loud and the cat meows? He's the side of one big human over your head. He's looming and you're using all your breath. If you try to run, where are you going to go? He's If he's faster than a bullet. If you try to run, where are you going to go if he's faster than a bullet? You can't outrun your death. You know, if there's something like this blew my mind, I would keep it together for the sake of my life. When the overgrown feeling catches you, say bye-bye. You are his food. And then that just says the same thing all over again. He's our cartoon cat. The only cartoon cat killing everybody. Stop doing that. He's only one... He's the only one and only cartoon cat. He's a cartoon cat, and they just. Re- All right. Um, I think half of the lyric. I'm not singing the whole thing because the rest just g- can't give you like fucking name. It. Anyways, when he sings his song repeatedly near you, you are in danger. If he's not singing the song, he wants to be your friend. If you deny it, he will kill you right in the spot. Next, we're going to be talking about an urban legend called Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is a TV show for kids. Kids. Fucking kids. This ain't no kids show. There's a... All right. Until that one episode back in the 1900s, there was this one episode that was giving kids the creeps. So the episode starts with Mickey walking around in the street until he walks up to a man. And pulls out his fucking eyeballs. His eyeballs! And walks away. Until he runs into this guy and the guy says, Hey, why do you have eyeballs in your hands? And Mickey says to take yours. With a creepy face after he ripped the guy apart in the spot while shooting him constantly, he walked away with a creepy smile on his demonic face. And then there's this last one that she stated. Um... The last one I'll be ta- I'll be telling you about is this dark nursery rhyme, "Ringer on the Roses." This ain't no nursery rhyme, just to let you know. The lyrics to the song to the song is "Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, they we all fall down." You probably won't understand because it sounds so fucking childish, but. It's not what it means. Ring around the rosy might sound a bit childish, but it's not. It means something really weird and nasty, so I'm not going to say it. Rashes, rashes, ashes, ashes actually means rashes, rashes, which means he's abusive. We all found down has three meanings. We all fall down on the ground, we all fall down and die, or we all fall down and we get dragged down to hell, and I fucking hate the last one. The third one. Anyway, so, um, that's... That's all we are gonna be talking about today. Um, I'm gonna have nightmares, but <laughs> I think I might be posting a part two of scary things. So it's fucking Thanksgiving, and I'm posting about scary things. But okay, bye.